Today, we are going to be finding the name of the ionic compound NaBrO2. Now, just a little trick here. If you have three or more different elements in your ionic compound, like we do here, you know that you have at least one polyatomic ion. In this case, we have Na, which is sodium, Br, which is bromine, and O, which is oxygen. So it's easy to find the polyatomic first and then go back and try to name knowing that information. Now, keep in mind, guys, that your polyatomic ions are never going to be on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So that's why I wrote down the one that we're going to use today. So you guys should memorize it. BRO2, which is always a negative one charge because it's an ion. And remember the charges as well. BRO2 is called bromite. So this is our polyatomic ion, which means that the other one, Na, is a metal, right? Ionic compounds, generally, if you only have one polyatomic, you're going to have a metal in there. And I know it's a metal because it's over here on the periodic table, right? So it's in metal territory. All we have to do is just name it. Well, the metal, the name always stays the same. So Na, um, you know, it's just, I just, sorry guys, I just got distracted because I just read this as, nah, bro. <laughs> Okay, anyway, but Na, right, is sodium, and the name stays the same, so sodium, okay, and now comes our polyatomic, and that name stays the same, so since we know that the polyatomic name is bromite here, I'm just going to put bromite, and now just do a double check, since sodium is not part of your transition metals, right, it's not in that little block, I don't need a Roman numeral. So I found the answer. So NaBrO2 is sodium bromide, and that's it. Hopefully this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.